गाइस माय नेम इज अंकुश गौरव एंड आई वेलकम यू टू कॉन टू सीरीज सो फॉर वी लर्न ऑल अबाउट फॉर्म वेलिडेशन रिलेटेड कॉन्सेप्ट्स यूजिंग दिस अल्ट्रा सिंपल डेमो एप्लीकेशन व्हिच आई क्रिएटेड स्टेप बाय स्टेप अलोंग विद यू इन ऑल द प्रीवियस ट्यूटोरियल्स नाउ इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल वी गोना लर्न अबाउट a very important concept which is supported by spring mvc framework and that is the concept of an interceptor and i'm going to use this same demo application to explain everything about this concept so let's start because many times on internet you would have observed when you try to access some website sometimes you do not get the desired web page for that request instead you get a simple message on the response web page the website is closed for maintenance for some hours or the website is not working at the moment please try accessing it after some time or any such similar message now what if you want to do kind of similar thing for this time application too let me explain my requirement in detail what i want is this application should work on all weekdays except for sunday so in short what i want is when any user request for a web page to this application at that moment before handling that request this application should perform a simple task of checking whether the request is made on sunday or any other weekday if it is made on sunday then this application should not perform any processing for that request and should return back this simple message back to the user as a response web page the website doesn't work on sunday please try accessing it on any other weekday and if it is made on any other weekday then this application should perform all the steps which are needed to handle that request that is first make a call to an appropriate request handler method along with performing all other steps for producing the desired web page for that request so question is how we would achieve such a typical requirement in this demo application and the answer is using the concept of an interceptor which is provided by spring embassy framework the spring embassy says he developers for a requirement like this where you want your application to perform some task before it starts handling or processing the request you simply need to follow these three simple steps and you'll be done the first step which you need to perform is just include a java class which extends handler interceptor adapter class and override one of its methods with the name prehandle in this java class and then write the code inside the prehandle method of this java class which you want spring mvc to execute before handling the request and last but not the least just let spring mvc know about this java class by putting its entry in the spring's configuration file that is in the spring dispatcher server.xml file and that's it so let us perform these three steps one by one to satisfy this project's requirement and later after performing all these three steps i will explain the whole concept in detail to you so here i have included this new java class in this application with the name day of week base access interceptor which extends handler interceptor adapter class and overrides one of its methods with the name prehandle in it exactly as for the first step which is suggested by spring mvc framework here now the concept is when any user would request for a web page to this application at that moment before handling that request spring mvc framework is going to make a call to this method and the concept is if this method would return true it's only then the application would further handle or process that request and if this method would return false in that case the application would not process or handle that request further and would send back the response back to the client's browser from this method itself so let us perform the second step by putting the code which we want spring mvc to execute for every request before handling it cool so now the only step which is remaining here is to let spring mvc know about this class so for that 
go to the springs configuration file and include this code snippet so with this code snippet over here in the springs configuration file i'm simply instructing spring msc framework hey spring msc framework in this application i have included a java class with the name day of week based access interceptor so please consider this class while you handle or process any request so after including this java class and uh, this code snippet over here in the spring configuration file now when any user would request for any web page to this application at that moment if the request is made on sunday then the application should return back this simple message back to the user as a response web page and if the request is made on any other weekday then the application should process the request in the normal way as it usually does to process that request so today is sunday guys and if i would make this request to the application then let's see what i'm cool the application has sent this message back to me the website is closed on sunday please try accessing it on any other weekday because of this method which we have written over here now if i change my system date to any other day other than sunday let's see what happens in that case so i would make it saturday now if i make a request for the same web page let's see what happens cool so the application has returned back the desired web page for this request and why it has sent back the desired web page because for this request spring mc application executed this method and after executing this method it found that the request was made on saturday and for saturday it returned true and after returning true it simply made a call to this request handler method and after this it made a call to this view file and after that whatever response object this view file generated it simply returned back to me as a response web page and i got this web page because in this tutorial i just meant introducing you to the concept of an interceptor which spring msc supports in the next tutorial we will learn about some more basics about this concept and later i'll show you some of the advanced things which you can do using this concept like supporting multiple languages supporting multiple themes etc etc guys a big thank you for learning spring msc with me if you have any feedback or comments please provide them below the video or simply write to me on this email id for all of your queries please hit the like button if you really like this video and do not forget to subscribe to my youtube channel gone to series and i'm going to catch you in the next part of this tutorial